Welcome to our podcast, Ditsky Žižkov, Žižkov Always. Previously, we showed you several interesting places within the Prague district Žižkov. Today, we want to talk about the birth of this district, which is dating back more than 150 years. This area covers hilly terrain east of the old town city gates, marking the historical royal city limits. The land was primarily a home of the vineyards founded in 1348 by the famous Emperor Charles IV. In the 19th century, a great industrial and population boom swept through Zhishkov. A large number of quickly rising apartment buildings of a mismatched style made it a pretty unique part of the city. Known for its bohemian population, laborers, students, artists and underground delinquents, it was a hotspot for all socialites. During the World War II, the German Nazis did not accept the Zhishkov name. After the Hussite warrior leader Jan Zhishka from Trotsnov, the commander-in-chief of the Czech protestant movement. And they began to officially call it Weizberg, hence the Czech Vítkov. The urban development of the area commenced in 1865 under the project name Královské Vinohrady I, the Royal Vineyards Part I. The first mayor, Karel Hardik, was the founding father of the name Zhishkov, and because of his strong patriotic feelings, many streets here are named after other well-known Hussites. In 1881, the Caesar František Josef I issued a declaration of the sovereign township to Zhishkov, and thus elevated its status. Ten years later, Zhishkov was housing more than 42,000 people in 750 stylish apartment buildings. This very unique town was quickly nicknamed the Prague Montmartre after the popular avant-garde quarter in Paris, as well as the steeply inclined streets and lanes, staircases, mini market squares, and of course, the free-spirited bohemian residents. After the war, the massive housing development continued, including the necessary touch of the civil engineering, mainly the modernization of the transport infrastructure. The unfortunate communist architecture of the 1980s heavily scarred the face of Zhishkov. Tens of historically priceless buildings in the neo-Renaissance style were demolished and replaced by uniform, plain, concrete block housing estates. The 1989 Velvet Revolution and the subsequent changes finally put a stop to the progressing devastation of this unique neighborhood. The majority of the traditional buildings with galleries and courtyards has been spared. The ongoing growth and renovations are softly turning Zhishkov into rather a residential area, popular also for the proximity to the city center. However, the overabundance of the neighborhood pubs, bars, coffee shops, wine rooms and restaurants is still apparent, keeping this place authentic and fun to visit. More stories by Ditsky Zhishkov are coming soon. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and your comments below will be always appreciated.